So, in that corner seat there, your top two neck nails can be adjusted with the pressure by that dial. So, turn that dial, you'll mess with your pressure, find what you like. The waterfall here will be turned by this dial. So, play with this when you get in as well. All of the black and chrome style jets inside the tub are going to turn on and off just by twisting them. When you get in, I guarantee some of them will be off. They're not broken. Just reach back and twist them and they'll come on. Okay. okay. There is two little black jets both on that middle seat over there those two are going to run 24 7 and keep it circulating at all times you will always see little champagne bubbles coming from those so those will be the only things always running now here is your first cleaning spot this is your skimmer this twists out pull this basket off clean it every couple weeks this is going to collect your hair bugs grass you can do this while the tub's on while you're in it it doesn't matter now there's a fill line right here about three quarters of the way up. That's where I want you to keep your water at all times when nobody's in the tub. Okay. The next place you'll clean will be the filter. Now when you do this one, the power needs to get shut off. Now you can do that at the breaker or down, down over here. There's an on off switch. Down here, right in the top right corner of the black box. Okay. I recommend doing it here instead of the breaker because you have a stereo. You will lose your presets and your Bluetooth settings on your radio if you do it at the breaker. It's like un unplugging a car battery. Okay. So I would do it here. Once it's powered off, loosen up this bleeder screw. Loosen up the outer lock ring. Pull up. And here's your filter. Spray this off with a garden hose once a month. Replace it in a year and a half. When you put it back in, there's no top or bottom. Doesn't matter how it goes in. Push that back down. Lock in. Back on. Just one finger tight. Now power the tub back on. In 10 or 15 seconds, water will spray out of this screw. Once you see water spray, then you can finger tighten this up. Okay. Okay. Now you've got a second filter over there. So you've got two filters, each lasting a year and a half. So you've got three years of filters. Okay. Okay. Um, that is it for cleaning. Now that flower looking thing there, what that is is a diverter valve. When you turn that all the way one way, you're gonna shut off that big jet there in the middle seat and send that pressure to your other seats. Turn it the opposite way, you're gonna shut off those seats and send it all to the big jet seat. When you get in, play with it, find what you like. Okay. And it's gonna make a lot more sense when you see it. Oh, look at you. All right, where is your disconnect? It's if you don't like this color, turn them off, back on, it's gonna go to something different. There's nine different modes. So you can turn them off and back on until you find something you like. Okay. Turbo is gonna send air bubbles to your seats. Then you've got your jets. One will control one half of the tub, one is gonna control the other. Okay. <laughs> That's when, okay. when you get in, run whatever you'd like, however long you'd like. Whenever you're done, just make sure they all get shut back off. Okay. Okay. They're all manually controlled, so they will never automatically shut off. Now, will the lights stay on all the time then? They will, but you can just turn them off by pressing it once. Okay. Rather gotcha. than pressing it off and back on to change them, you just press it once and it goes off. Thermostat minimum is 40 degrees. Maximum is at least 104. With it being as hot as it is, you probably don't want to get in this thing at 100 degrees. <laughs> I'm going to say you get started up here about half an inch, three quarters of an inch off max. Okay. Get you in it comfortably. Probably more in the 90 to 95 range, and then you can go from there. Okay. Um, the display is going to show the actual temperature, not what you are setting it to. So it is a guessing game until you get it fine-tuned in. Okay. All right, down here, a couple things. Backup thermostat. If anything happens to the one up top, give us a call. We will then tell you what to do with this one. Okay. All right. There is a white coupler right here and another one right here on the back side. I can stick this in there and get it if you want, if you stick it up yeah, higher. Yeah. Okay. Um, here we go like uh, that. You see it back there? It's right there. Oh, okay, yeah, behind it. So that one. And then right here, you've got this pump. It's in the same two spots. Okay. What I recommend for that one, just come over here, pull this panel off. It's four screws. 
You okay. can do this one or this one, whatever you'd like. Okay. Um, and then exact same two spots, same two couplers. That pump's just really hard to get to from that front access panel. Um, those will need tightened up once a year. Okay. Uh, other than that, though, you should not have to worry about anything down there at all. Uh, we're going to slide over here to your radio. All right, so you're in standby mode. Your five modes are standby, radio, USB, Bluetooth, and auxiliary. We'll do some radio first. What station do you like? Uh, 104 point, or what is it, 105.7. I don't really listen to radio all that much. <laughs> all right, we'll just set one one preset here. All right, maybe. Or is it 107? What, I don't know what. There. I don't know, radio. It, might not have good enough signal to pick there it up. Yeah, 104.5. All right, so you got six presets. Hold down on a number. It'll say stored and you get a preset, just like a car. Yeah. Nothing crazy to it. Band, if you listen to any AM radio, that's how you'll get there. Um, and then seek buttons here. Other than that, that's it for the radio. USB, you got your USB port here, auxiliary port right here. Okay. Bluetooth time, probably what you'll use the most. Yeah on your phone and it'll pop up as cam. Start that back up. Okay. All right. When your water reaches that fill line on the skimmer, I want you to come right here and power it on. Once you power it on, come up here to the filter, wait for it to spray water. I'm leaving it loose, so you just have to wait. Once it sprays, finger tighten it up, then come and set your temperature. Okay. Remember, we want you to get started up here, somewhere in that range, okay? Okay. Get you in it comfortably and then you can go from there. I'm gonna cover up your thermostat with the filter lid. So you remember to do the filter first. Okay. So, excuse me, water fill line, power it on, wait for it to spray, excuse me, tighten it up, cover it up, set your temperature. Okay. okay. After that, you can close your cover, stick your door on, which I'm gonna show you how to do right now. So the two black prongs down there at the bottom, yep. those just rest on the frame. Push it in, twist it, and you're right. So the door is really, really easy. We're gonna leave that off since you got it powered on. And then good. you can close your filter and you're good to go. Okay. Let it heat, it'll take about six to eight hours and you can be in it later today. On this back side, these two clips, you notice these are really long. Yeah. If you go on that side, you'll see they're like, they're only this long. So, um, these can stay clipped in at all times when you're not in it. I mean, um, whether you're in it or not, it doesn't matter. Okay. So just leave these in, clip them in once you get this closed today. And then you'll just have to undo that side to get in and out. Okay. So. Now, how does this bar thing work? Yep. I'll show you. Does it go on the other side of that lid or something? Or? So it literally just sits on top. So it's not attached in any way. So that's how I was able to do it. I just did to show you this side. But usually you'll come out, you'll undo your two straps over here, flip the top half over, grab this bar and push it up. Oh, okay. And it'll rest right there. So closing it, exact opposite, grab the bar, pull it down, flip it over. I got you. Put your two front ones back in and these should already be in. So you should be all good there. I'm going to leave this open the other way. Just so it's easier for you to get all this done. Okay. So other than that though, do you have any questions? No, I don't think so. What's this cord here for? Probably nothing. Oh, uh, it's your antenna. For your oh, okay. Got you.